everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the Masters Laser Screwdriver from series three and series 10 of Doctor Who. Now, these are by Character Options and Underground Toys. We've got both releases here. The original release from 2007, 2008, and we've got the re-release, the second release, the 50th anniversary release, from 2013 and both of these are mint sealed in their packaging and that is how they are going to stay we'll be taking a look at this laser here which is just the same as the character options one the only difference being uh, that this one is out of the packaging yeah let's uh, let's let's get on with it let's take a look so we'll take a look at the original release first of course so here it is here in its lovely flamey, fiery packaging, which matches the original style packaging for the 9th and 10th Doctor's screwdriver releases back in 2006, 7 and 8, I believe. So it fits in really well with them and it looks great. You see the back of the packaging there and the side, the sides are pretty much the same and yeah. We'll take a closer look. So we've got the Doctor Who logo, the 2005 to 2010 Doctor Who logo, or 2005 to 2009 Doctor Who logo, should I say. <laughs> we've got the Character Options logo at the bottom there, and a lovely photograph of the Master himself, Mr. John Sim, holding up the laser screwdriver prop, looking very menacing. So, Yes, there it is. We've got the sides here, the Master's laser screwdriver, and both of them are the same. You can see it's kind of got the Doctor Who shaped logo there as well. Um, looking pretty cool. At the top, the Master's laser screwdriver. Yes, you see he's uh, got to be uh, five years old or, or over to play one of these bad boys. <laughs> uh, it does have a little tear in this one, actually, a little rip in the packaging that's happened uh, at some point over the years. Not not too bad, C could be worse. Uh, so features, lights and two sound effects, laser and aging, spring-loaded, extendable tip. Ooh, very nice, very nice. <laughs> so yeah, turning to the back, you can see we've got uh, a bit of legal information there. And oh, a lovely shiny sticker there, the Doctor Who sticker, which uh, I think they actually stopped doing at some point. Um, I've got a few things that, that don't have any sticker on. So yeah, it's cool that this one has the sticker. And a bit of instructions on the battery replacement and everything there. So you can see the batteries are actually there just behind the master. This is at a time where they did package batteries with the screwdrivers, but they didn't put them in. And that's, that's that was the best. That's the best, because then they don't expand inside the actual screwdrivers. So yeah, a bit of battery information there, and a lovely picture of the laser in action at the top. <laughs> so yes, then there's the features again, and Doctor Who logo, so yes. Very nice, there's the top. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty cool compact box, a lot smaller than the 9th and 10th Doctor's screwdriver releases. Uh, they came in big boxes at the time. So it was nice to kind of get this uh, sleeker version of the box. <laughs> but uh, yeah, pretty cool. So the international release, the Underground Toys release. Pretty much the same style of box. Uh, the only difference being uh, is a few additional things that they've added on here. Um, they've put on this Doctor Who logo, which was the Doctor Who logo being used uh, on all the merchandising pretty much uh, around the time of the 50th anniversary. The only problem with it being on here uh, is that it covers one of the best parts of the uh, screwdriver, the uh, the emitter barrel or so that's a bit of a shame but it is a nice logo <laughs> so yes other than that there isn't really much differences to the boxes uh, obviously the design and everything which we'll look at now so you can see it's got the 10th doctor on there the 10th doctor 2005 to 2010 uh, because it's from his era of the show 
we've got the Masters Laser Screwdriver. So you can see they added on here, they've got spring-loaded extendable emitter. And here features lights and two sound effect laser and aging. So basically uh, what they have written in this here, they've, they've now changed to little diamonds to fit in with the diamond style packaging, which is uh, very nice. So you see here, we have the picture of the laser in action, which is pretty much the same as the one on the back, but they've also just popped it on the side there, which is uh, pretty cool, pretty cool to say. the. Uh, Classic Doctor Who logo there, being used for the 50th anniversary merchandise. And yeah, Mr. John Sim again, the master himself. And that's it. So on the side here, we haven't really got uh, anything on the side of these ones. Just a nice blue diamond style packaging. <laughs> Uh, on the back, again, we've got the legal information, uh, instructions on the batteries. So this one, um, you know, I'm pretty sure it comes with batteries pre-installed. Um, it doesn't have the batteries behind the master. So I'd assume that the batteries are pre-installed. Yes, batteries included. Um, so they will be in there, uh, expanding away. Very nice. <laughs> But uh, yeah, there's the top of the box there, the Masters Laser Screwdriver, and it's got the Character Options website, which this one does have too. You see, even though this is the Underground Toys release, it is still Character Options. You see at uh, the back there, a little comparison of the back. You can see that they both have the Character Options logo, but only the re-release has the Underground Toys logo as well. And that's pretty cool. We've got a little warning sticker on here, which is included on uh, quite a lot of the American style, the American releases. See here, we've got a choking hazard warning, which again uh, is on a lot of the American releases. Um, yeah, we've got a little underground toys logo here instead of the character options logo. And there we have it, there we have it. So the same backdrops, in there this one has batteries at the side this one has batteries inside the screwdriver this one's got them inside the box just there and other than that there isn't really much difference between them so here's the screwdriver itself the laser screwdriver so like i said this is just one of the character options ones this is the one i keep out on the shelf on display and yeah, it's uh, it's pretty good. It's a, it's a well-made toy. Um, it's probably one of the best uh, screwdriver toys character options ever made, uh, as well as the River Song and Peter Capaldi's 12th Doctor screwdriver. That is also a very well-made toy. But this is great and I love this toy. So we'll just go a quick, everyone knows what this kind of looks like. So we'll just, we'll just give it a quick one over here. There's the full shot of the laser, very nice. So to extend, you just press the button here. And there we go, it shoots up. You can see the extendable emitter tip, <laughs> which is uh, very nice. So we've got the uh, the dial here, which is the for the aging uh, in the episode. This is where John Sims Master is like, oh yeah, we're gonna, gonna age you. Your, your capacity to regenerate, yeah, I need them. So it's got the aging sound effect there, which you just press and hold, which is great. And the speaker, the speaker grill is pretty well concealed on there. Um, it doesn't, it blends in quite well. It doesn't, it doesn't stand out like on some screwdrivers where you've got a big speaker grill at the bottom. Uh, no, it, it blends in really well with this one. So uh, yeah, extend, there's the laser effect. It's pretty nice, really loud. I've just put some new batteries in it, so it is quite loud. And uh, yeah, you hold for the aging effect and you press for the laser effect. So there we go. Now, uh, there is there is a few differences between the releases. Um, now, unfortunately, I only have one uh, open screwdriver, which is this one. I don't have uh, the Underground Toys release uh, opened. Uh, so I can't do a comparison of them like that, and I'm not opening this one. <laughs> 
But basically, this one's better because it's clean. There isn't any illegal information written on the outside. It's all on the inside in here. Um, but yeah, but you can't you can't activate that one in closed position. So that's a bit of a downer for that one. However, this one, this one's better because it can activate in closed position, but it's got the legal information. So yeah, both of them have their uh, their ups and their downs. Both of them are pretty cool and they look good on display, of course. So um, overall, great, great screwdrivers. And it is a real shame that they only released them basically twice. I mean, we did get the release with the interactive set, uh, which came with the 10th Doctor screwdriver and Toclophane, which was a great set, but doesn't extend or anything. This is the only uh, version that extends these two here, and they've only released this one once and this one once. So yes, definitely due a re-release of this screwdriver character options. And with the 60th anniversary coming up next year, what better time to do it? So um, yeah, hopefully we'll see more releases of these in the future. But for now, that's it, the Masters Laser Screwdriver. And yeah, I will see you all in the next video, which will probably be a Dalek video. So I'll see some of you then, and for the rest of you, I'll see you in the next screwdriver video. Goodbye.